Now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Well, our stretch of summer-like heat is not over quite yet here in western Wisconsin as an upper ridge of high pressure will be sticking around for at least the next day or two. That's going to be reflected by our temperatures once again tomorrow afternoon. We are expected to top out at around that 90 degree mark. We won't be close to any records and the good news is that weather is going to cooperate for any of those outdoor activities. We're looking at lots of sunshine throughout the day, dry weather. Just remember though, with the hot temperatures, you'll want to hydrate frequently and of course take lots of breaks if you're doing any exert of manual labor. And don't forget about our four-legged friends either. That asphalt gets extremely hot and much hotter compared to what we're expecting for that air temperature. So it's a good idea just to avoid those paved surfaces until we start to cool down a little bit more. Otherwise, as we take a live look at our Nicolay Bank uh, Hastings Way Skycam, which for tonight is pointed up at the sky, and for good reason. Thanks so much to our director for getting this awesome shot of the full June strawberry moon that is going to be reaching its peak here at 1042 tonight. And our temperature in Eau Claire feels like a summer night out there. 76 is where we stand under a mainly clear sky. Our dew points have crept back up into the upper 50s. We have a northeast wind at 8 miles per hour and that pressure at 30.06 inches. All throughout the state, we've got temperatures generally into the 70s and 80s. Now further north, especially up towards the Rhinelander area, they are a bit cooler into the mid 60s. And that's because we had a few scattered showers and storms that developed up that way this evening. In fact, there was actually a cell that surprisingly popped up over a northeastern Chippewa County. That was short lived though with the loss of daytime heating. And as we head through the night with that clear sky, lighter winds, we are going to see a few areas dip into the upper 50s. But I think here locally, most of us are going to see those lows into the low and mid 60s. Now heading into tomorrow, as you just saw our high here in Eau Claire going to top out at around 90. And we're not going to be the only ones once again dealing with that heat. It's going to be pretty widespread throughout the state with temperatures into the upper 80s and back into the low 90s. It won't be until early this week when we start to see a little bit of relief from those very hot temperatures. Looking at satellite and radar here, it's a quiet picture. We have a few lingering clouds around. There is a weak area of high pressure down across Nebraska, but that isn't going to do too much for us tonight. We are going to stay mainly clear with that ridge in place. Otherwise, for tomorrow, lots of sunshine. There could be some afternoon cumulus clouds developing as a result of that daytime heating, but I'm not expecting any showers and storms. We're going to stay dry into tomorrow night as well, but you'll start to notice this cloud cover that works down from the north, and that's out ahead of the next cold front that is going to be sliding in as we head into Monday. In fact, as that approaches, that is going to produce some scattered showers and storms across the area as we do kick off the work week. And then by Monday evening, those will start to taper off with quieter weather heading into Tuesday. So for tonight here in Eau Claire, we'll see that low temperature at 61, mainly clear for tomorrow. On the hotter side of normal, once again, that high temperature at 90, while well, plenty of sunshine and humidity won't be a factor either. Meanwhile, on Monday, 85 degrees there. And then we get back into the seasonable upper 70s and lower 80s through a majority of the week. There will be another cold front by Friday that moves in, just some spotty rain chances. And we could certainly.